I don't think I would have understood resiliency in a child until going through this and seeing him. Today we're here for tech surgery to help with his craniosynostosis. Pretty much right when he was born, his head just looked a little bit long. Hats didn't quite fit him right. Tuck was diagnosed with sagittal synostosis or sagittal craniosynostosis, where one of the sutures on the skull is closed a little bit too early. That can cause a change in the head shape and also lead to some other issues with development later in life. So we opted to take him to surgery. You see more of that. You ready? The family elected to undergo a minimal invasive approach. We removed about a 1.5 centimeter strip of fused bone. That then allows the brain to then expand. And you either use a helmet therapy or we incorporate these springs in which physically push the bones apart. We liked that with the springs, once they were in, it was kind of hands off and it was doing its job inside of his head without us having to go to more appointments. Learning the outcomes that could happen if we didn't address it and knowing that there would be pressure on his eyes, on his sinuses, and just pain up top, this was the only option. One in every 2,500 kids has some version of this. It made me feel better knowing that it's not as uncommon as I originally thought. He had the springs in for several months. He was eating, drinking, and, and doing great, so we let him go home on the first day after surgery. It was probably a week later that we could already see a difference in his head shape. The great thing for Tuck was he was referred so young. Early diagnosis and early referral are really critical to allow us to offer the families all the potential options that we can. We were the first children's hospital in Ohio to incorporate spring craniopathy for sagittal synostosis. We do these surgeries or different versions on a weekly basis, so we are confident in being able to give really good care to these patients. Oh, that looks fantastic. I'm always happy when I see patients a few months later and I can barely recognize them. But as a neurosurgeon, I get even more pride when I see that they're developing well and that there's no signs of pressure. We've done everything possible to make sure his brain develops so that he can grow to be a happy, healthy, smart little boy. You never imagine your child on the OR table for a major surgery, but we had our trust in the care team. We did the right thing and it was the best outcome that we could have.